Hello and welcome to a series I'm calling Deep Practices for Leaders. I'm your host, Dr. Kate Newberg. And the purpose of this series is to allow leaders to explore the question, who is the self that leads? To paraphrase one of my favorite um, philosophers, Dr. Parker Palmer. So the title of this episode is Trusting Your Inner Leader. And I'm going to give you some quick background on deep practices before we jump in. So deep practices were developed by Dr. Paul Michalek and myself at the University of Denver. And the definition is any action or decision that originates from the heart. And so often in our work, especially in leadership, we aren't necessarily given the space or the support to really dig into making decisions from the heart. So this series is all about how you can start to cultivate those skills and and see the benefits of them. So the title of this episode is Trusting Your Inner Leader. And the idea is that in times of uncertainty, such as right now for many of us, um, there's no manual for decision making. There's no there's no outcome we can necessarily rely on. So when we're looking at how do I make decisions right now, what we have to fall back on is our inner wisdom, our inner strength. And again, what we're doing in these episodes is to give you tools and reflection exercises to dig into what are my inner strengths? What is my inner leader trying to tell me right now? So to answer that, to address that, I want to give us a quick reflection exercise. This one's very quick. And I want you to think about what decision is looming, feels like it's looming in front of you right now. Maybe there's something that you are wrestling with that you really don't know how to move forward with. I want you to take a deep breath and bring that up, all the emotions that come with it. I want you to take a moment to reflect. What are the solutions that present themselves to you? And as you reflect on the solutions that come up, I want you to be very aware of when there seems to be a should attached to that solution. So when the solution feels like an obligation, when the solution feels like something I should do because this external force, this external force, this external force, is asking me or wants me to do that, or I think they want me to do that. And I want you to put those aside and keep digging until you come to a solution or a response that feels really natural to you. And it might be really unexpected. It might be a very unexpected move. It might even be, I don't have to make a decision right now. Something like that. But I want you to explore that and keep digging until you find something that feels very natural and very resonant with you. And I'm not saying you have to make that decision or not, but that is going to be, that is going to be, that feeling is going to help guide you, guide your way forward. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Deep Practices for Leaders series. Uh, Again, I am Dr. Kate Newberg, and if you'd like to hear more about my work, you can visit my website, www.deeppractices.com or you can email me directly at kate at deeppractices.com.